Okay guys, the first thing we're gonna need is 7-zip. We're gonna use this to extract the emulator. Link to this page is in the description below. Once you have 7-zip installed, we can head on over to visualboyadvance.org. Link to this page is also in the description below. Once you're here, go ahead and click on download. This emulator is available for Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android. We're on Windows, so we're gonna select download under Windows. Then you want to scroll down and we're going to download the 64 bit go ahead and hit download and your download should start i now have the emulator downloaded and i have saved it onto my desktop now we need to extract the file so what we want to do is right click on the file go to 7-zip and extract the visual boy advance it's going to create a new folder containing your extracted file we no longer need the zip folder so let's right click on it and delete it now let's open that folder and inside the only thing you should see is the actual emulator let's go ahead and open it now the first thing we're gonna do is set up our controller so let's go up to options input configure now I am using an Xbox one controller with this emulator I know that any wired controller will work as well and you have the option to use up to four controllers with this emulator player one player two player three and player four make sure you are under player one now to map out your buttons all you want to do is click in the box next to the button you're ready to map out so we can start with up let's click in the box and then hit up on your controller and it's just going to go in order from there so now it wants to know what button is going to be down left right which button are we using for a b left trigger right trigger select and start you also have the option for some special buttons. If you click right here where it says special, you have the options to map out an auto fire A and B button as well as speed up and screenshot. If you're happy with that mapping, then go ahead and hit OK. Now let's go back up to options, video, and we're going to select start in full screen. So every time we start a game, it goes to full screen. Now let's go ahead and load up a game. Let's go up to file open locate wherever you have your Game Boy Advance games on your PC in my case I have a folder on my desktop called Game Boy Advance games select the game you want to play I'll do Sonic Advance and the game should load up in full screen now if you want to change the way your game looks then you want to hit Control plus G and if you keep doing this you can go through the different filters and select the filter that you like and there's quite a few the one that I prefer is HQ four times this one here 